Hello, 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 this is Frida. Welcome to my channel. For today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to crochet this lovely hat. It can be called a Bixie, pixie hat, crone hat, um, coconut, what's in Turkish, uh, it's called a different name. Kukuleta hat. Kukuleta bere, kukuleta shapka. <laughs> ah, so uh, I was uh, going through uh, YouTube and then I saw, actually I've been seeing these hats for a couple of years now. I never had the time to crochet one. This is for a baby. And let me do the measurements. So for a baby, you need about uh, 13 uh between 10 to 13 inches around so this is a 12 this will fit uh, i would say newborn depends on the baby's head right like my son was huge he was over uh, five, uh 10 pounds and he was a big boy so uh, we bought him three months old clothes when he was born newborn yeah and of course he had a big head uh, because being a big boy so uh it again it really depends on the baby's uh size so this would fit i would say one uh, newborn to one year old and uh yeah so let's get started i just want to show you how this is done okay here are the measurements um i did change yeah i was going through youtube and i saw one person only one person showing how to crochet this uh, but I had to change it okay the way that she did it <laughs> look at this one look at this it's huge the way that she gave me the numbers this fit this is even big for my head so it turned to be a slouchy head hat I will put this on my um, Etsy shop and I will try to sell it if not I will donate it but it's a slouchy because it's uh pretty loose on the head if you have a big head this will fit comfortable I'll just give you the measurements okay so this is about when you uh, measure this is how I measure so it's it's 13 so that's like 26 when you measure it so that's how I do it so it's pretty big yeah so it's uh, if you have lots of hair and you want to hide your hair this will fit you perfectly and then uh it's uh, yeah it's pretty big so uh the yarn i had one ball and i used the entire entire to make this and i put a pom-pom okay so let me just put aside so i'm trying to focus on the baby size and uh I use a small pom-pom for this because it's a baby hat, right? So the yarn that I used was this yarn that I bought from Hirschner's. And I just bought only one ball to see how uh, how it would be. And it says it's a cotton yarn. It's 35% acrylic. So what the, the yarn inside is like cotton and whatever the, the halo is the acrylic. This is the similar yarn that, uh, uh, what's it call it, uh, uh, Michael's carried and they sold and I bought so much of them. I have lots and lots in the closet here somewhere. So uh, this is the leftover. I might knit a baby hat just to use up this yarn. Okay, so the yarn that I'm going to use for this tutorial is this yarn that I bought from Michaels. I just love the color. And, uh, okay, so I used a small crochet hook. You need to use a small crochet hook to make this size. And I played around. So this is a three millimeter crochet hook. And it does suggest you a six. So that for this, it's not that thin and uh or you can use a cotton yarn i'm just looking around but i just want to use this yarn to see how it works up so let me it says it's a four weight but this is more like a three weight for me because when you look at it 
like this is a four weight see see the difference okay so I did make a small uh, diagram for me to figure out how to crochet this uh, hat. Okay. Okay, so I started with uh, 10 double crochet. And uh, here it is. I made a diagram. So I st on, the, on the tutorial, she was showing 14. So that's too, too big for a baby hat. So instead of doing four, 14 double crochets, including the chain to three to go up, uh, I did 14 double, I did 10 double crochets. And what you do is you crochet 10 rows, 15 rows, and then you do your increases. Okay, so let me just come and show you. I, I need to sew this back. It didn't work out. I need to find the attachment, which I took, I couldn't find it to find it but uh later on i will i just wanted to show you how it looks like with this pompon which i bought from uh amazon you can go there's lots of pompons there whichever country you live in okay where's my increase here it is so i did my increases every row at the beginning or you can do it at the end and i use this crochet hook okay and this was uh, four, number four weight. That's what it says on this one as well. So here it says it's recommending 5.5 knitting needle, which I used a three. So you can play around with it. It's a little bit tough to crochet, but we want it small, right? So with the yarn and with the crochet hook, you can make a baby hat with this uh, pattern that I'm going to give you the numbers. Okay, so let's get started. So uh, I'm going to do a magic loop. Let me find the end of this. I'll be right back. Okay, so let's start. Make a magic loop. One, two, three chain to go up. Including this, I'm going to make a total of ten. In the pattern, uh, the way she was explaining, 14, but that's too big for a baby uh, hat. Two, four, six, seven, eight nine ten if you are a tight crocheter this would be perfect this project would be perfect and then i'm going to put put a marker right there it's the same color though let me grab a different color because we don't want the same color we want something uh bright like red or i don't know anything not that is uh, similar to that color because we want it to pop right the um here we go i grabbed the red then i'm just gonna put it here so this would be my last um so i am uh, last to uh, double crochet so i'm not going to do joining well here i'm going to do the joining i'll just show you like i'm not going to chain three to go up so that will give me the uh, line which i don't want any line just to show you i can't even find it myself that's what you need to do you need to make something that you can't even find where here where we are here we are See, this is, you don't see any line. You just see nice double crochets. That's what I'm going to be aiming for. To do that, uh, I know it's going to be a little bit diff difficult. So I'm going to do yarn over. Right here, I'm going to make a double crochet. Okay, it's going to be a little bit tough. The first one's going to be a little, little bit tough. Or what you can do is, here's another trick you can do. You pull this. And you go like this, I believe, and then you make a double crochet. And then it gives you that height, okay? But still we have that line, which we don't want that line. 
So just ignore what I just showed you. So I'm just going to make a double crochet. This one's going to be a little bit loose. This first double crochet. Okay. And then, well, again, you will see that loop. So on that same, I'm going to make my increase. And then make a double crochet. And I'm going to start, so uh, I'm counting this, uh, uh, the first double crochet that we did. So one, two, the second row. So we're going to be making 15 rows like this total, including this one. So I'm going to make double crochets on each uh, double crochet. That's all I'm going to do. Okay. And then you will automatically notice that it's pulling, it's, uh, it's getting tight because uh, the there's 10. We did one increase, 11. Try to poke this in here and then start making your rounds like this. And this yarn is super soft, so this would be perfect for a newborn baby. Uh, it's acrylic though, that's the only thing which I don't like. Like I would like something cotton, you know, something neutral. Okay, so I'm going to count natural, not neutral, natural products. So I'm going to count 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 11, okay? So I am not going to join. As I said, I'm going to come right here. On top of this one here right here the first one is a little bit tough okay. this hole will disappear so don't worry about it and then I'm gonna make my increase you can move your marker right there so you would know when to do your increase so just move it here so we should have 12 on this row I don't even bother counting I just count the rows which we need to continue crocheting like this round and around for a total of 15 rows to create uh, to create the cone. Let's say it that way, this cone, coconut, or, um, pixie, pixie hat, just like this. So I will continue to crochet until I have 15 rows and when you come to your marker what you will do is you will move the marker to the next upper level okay see when we do this round and around you won't see the that line that it just irritates me okay, again if you want to count you should have a total of 12 eight 10 with this one 12 so we're going to start the, the the next row which is going to be total of 13 double crochet so move your marker right here and you will know the next row would be 14 and then 15 and then 16 until you come to the 15th row so i'm going to don't forget to make your increase and I'm go I will meet you back when we finish the 15 row to start the 16. And then we'll go from there. Okay, I'm going to let you crochet. And this is how it looks like so far. So I'll see you in a bit. Okay, this hat is going to be smaller than the one that I have crocheted. So I am right here. Now I'm going to start doing uh, more increases here. So I just finished my 16th row and I started. So here, what we're going to do is we're going to crochet one, one, two, one, one, two, one, one, two for the entire row. And then on uh, the 17th, what we're going to do is we're going to crochet one double crochet on each double crochets all the way around. On row 18, we're going to do is crochet, 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 and we're going to crochet two in one spot and then crochet, crochet, crochet. Again, two double crochet on one double crochet. So 
there, here, here we are. I didn't move my marker. I, I let it sit. So this is going to be a little tint smaller than the one that I have finished because I am crocheting tight. And this yarn, it says with a 6.5 millimeter crochet hook, but you can use a three. It's very, very nice to work with. So I'm going to crochet, double crochet. I already did my increase. So the next one is double crochet and the next one is double crochet. On the next one we're going to put two double crochet on that spot so we're going to make our increases to create the the hat it's growing okay again two uh, one uh, one double crochet and then the next one one double crochet and then the next one we put two double crochets on that spot so this is all i'm doing this row so it's going to be increases. So uh, I'm going to continue crocheting all the way around. One double crochet, one double crochet. And then crochet two on that same double crochet. Okay, I am repeating because I did get comments asked me to repeat what I'm doing. So one double crochet. On the double crochet so this will help you and then the next one is a double crochet and then we make our increase so two double crochet in that double crochet okay so i will go around and i'll meet you at the end and you will see the increase like it's opening so i'm almost at the end of the row i did my two double crochet in one double crochet I did one double crochet one double crochet and I'm doing my increase and then I'm coming right here so I'm gonna do one double crochet two double crochet okay so this row is going to be double crochet on each double crochet so no increases okay so I will meet you on the next row when we finish row 17 and on 18, row 18, we're going to do our increases. So just do double crochets on each double crochet, and I will meet you at the next row. Okay, so I am at the row 18, and I'm going to do my increase, which is right here. I did my increase, so I'm going to make an increase right here. And then I am going to crochet one double crochet on the next one. Next one, one double crochet. Third one, one double crochet. And the fourth one is two double crochets in that double crochet. And I'm going to repeat this all the way to the end. So row 18 is going to be like this. Okay, I am going to continue crocheting like this on every row. Every other row, I'm going to be increase. Oops, don't go over. So we did our increase. So one, two, three, and I'm going to do my increase here. So there's three double crochets in between, and then we'd make our increase on the fourth. So I'm going to continue crocheting like this every other row. So on row 18, I'm going to make my increase. So on 19, I'm going to crochet double crochet around. 20 I'm going to make my increase so that would be four one double crochet two double crochet three double crochet and then uh, the fourth one would be one double crochet and then the fifth would be the increase so I'm going to continue until I have total of seven double crochets in between just like here can't even see them because it's really hard to see I believe it's um where are we? Here we are. See? Two, four, six. So th this one here. Two, four, six, seven. Every other row I do my increase. And then when we finish our seven double crochets in between, and then the increase would be the eight, we do double crochets for five to six rows on every uh, double crochet until the length five or six it depends on 
So this is going to be smaller, a tint smaller than uh, this hat. So we'll go from there and see, because I want this hat to be smaller than this, so this would comfortably fit a newborn. Okay, so uh, this is all I'm going to do. Okay, so I will crochet two, I did two in the third one, and then the fourth one would be the increase. Okay, I hope you understand what I'm saying, right? Okay, so I will come when I do the next row on the double crochet. And then the other row, when I do my increase, I will show you how to start an increase. It's just the starting part, part that you might get confused. But as you can see, here's my increase here. So I skip one. And then here I did my increase right here. So it's, it's because of the increase, there's going to be four on the next one okay so i will we'll meet you on the other row okay so i'm starting a new row to do my increase which was one i did here so i'm going to start one right here and then i'm going to do four double crochets in between and then do my increase on the fifth just like this so i just wanted to show you one more time and i will let you crochet until you have a total of seven double crochets in between just like this so seven like this one double crochet two double crochet three double crochet four double crochet and then we make our increase so continue crocheting all the way around until you have total of seven double crochet and then after that we will start doing our double crochets on each row so don't forget in every other row we do our increase just like this and I will meet you in a bit lots of double crochets I really like this yarn just want to point out again at Michael's baby rainbow that's what's it called okay so i have finished my last increase right here and i already so i did seven double crochets and then i did my increase seven double crochets and did on the eighth i did my increase so and i went one row just doing double crochet so i'm going to continue doing after the increase total of six double crochets Okay, let me just show you this it's this see how big that is and the size difference yeah it really depends on your crochet hook and your yarn so this yarn says it's a four weight but but it looks like it's a three weight so it depends on the yarn and your uh, hook that you work with okay so i'm going to crochet so it will be six double crochets and after that just doing six rows of double crochet and after that we're going to do the ribbing which is front post back post front post back post for six rows i did and you can see it from here you can see when the row changes one is a little bit up one is a little bit down that's okay nothing to worry about these are all handmade right so i'm going to continue crocheting so i did um two so i'm going to do four more rows well i haven't finished this one yet this is the second row so a total of six rows and i will come back uh, to show you how to do the ribbing front post back post it's very easy okay so I will come back
I've been crocheting and I have finished the sixth row. So now we're going to start doing the ribbing, which is front post, back post. This is how it looks like. I thought it would be a tint small, but actually it turned out to be larger. For some reason, this part is a shorter. I don't know, maybe my tension was tight. Yeah. So just wanted to show. So what I would, if you want to make one more for a newborn, what I would suggest is stop at the, I would say the five. And when you're doing the increase, like two double crochet and one, and then double crochet, double crochet, double crochet, double crochet. So five times, I would stop there and then do the sixth row of, uh, yeah, because that five, six, seven, those uh, two extra uh, increases gave a little bit of wideness. So from now on, what I would do is, that's what I would do. Yeah. So I'm going to show you how to do the front post, back post. And this is going to be six rows as well. So starting from here, so I'm going to move my marker right there so i would know that it would be um so when i come here on the sixth row when i finish it i will cut my yarn and i will finish it yeah for the pompon either you can purchase this through amazon or make your own pompon i bought these from aliexpress years ago you know what i didn't even open them i never made one I just used the old-fashioned way um, so here are the sizes it says I bought these and I don't even have a clue how they work so I guess I would go with this to make a pom-pom that would be the third yeah, I don't know I need to search it up how it works so one two three so the end result would be 6.8 centimeter diameter i never use these so uh that's what i would do but i have lots of pom-poms that i purchased last year i went crazy bored in 2021 spending money this year not so much okay so here i'm gonna grab it from here just like this And then pull it, pull, pull. So we made a front post and actually a back, back post. So I'm going to come here and then I'm going to grab it from here. So this is going to be a front, pull it like this, pull two, pull two. And then on the next one, from the back, from the back. pull two again like this and this is how you do the front post back post just like this so I'm gonna continue crocheting all the way to the end I haven't crochet counted how many double crochets I have but we will see at the end and I will show you a trick if I need to show you other than that, continue crocheting, and I'll be right back. Okay, so I am right here. I'm going to remove this because it's, well, yeah, it's blocking. Okay, so I did my back post. I need to do my front post. See, there's two left, right? So that's when I do my trick. Unfortunately, sometimes... We need to get rid so what i do is i come here i grab the two as pretending that's a double crochet and so this is the front post and then i pull so i get rid of one can you see and then i just continue crocheting what i see back post front post see that was my trick. If it was a front post, I do the same. I grab the two 
and then continue. So I got rid of one double crochet. Yeah, sometimes, unfortunately, you need to suck or you need to make some tricks, create new tricks to uh, work what you have. Okay, so we fixed that problem. So this is the second row. I'm going to continue when I finish my sixth row. I will come and show you to finish it up and then we'll be done like i said i'm not going to show you how to make a pom-pom i already have a tutorial you can go to my videos and then search under the search write down pom-pom and then you will see the tutorial or just buy a, a ready to made if you already have in your stash just use that one don't go out and buy don't spend money because it's really hard to make earn the money <laughs> Just wanted to point out okay so I will finish and I will come back to show you how it looks like so far this is how it looks like okay so I'm done I'm just gonna do my last which is a front post I know when you grab it from the back this uh, double crochet goes pops out so it gives you that 3d effect but when you crochet it from the front post the stitch goes from the back which is kind of uh, you think that that's back post but it's actually front post <laughs> okay so I am right here and I finished my sixth row I'm just going to finish it with a slip stitch right here and then I'm going to chain three or four and then cut my yarn just like this pull it and then I'm going to weave it right away okay remove this because uh, let me just weave this Just like this. Just weave it like this. Or you can use a tapestry needle. Either way would work. And I am going to knot it just to secure it. You never know. These little babies, they can pull everything. Okay, my last step is going to be to put my label. Okay, as you can see, there's the height a little bit. Unfortunately, we can't fix that, but um, we can fix it with this so this is the hat and i am going to put my marker right there my uh label i ordered these uh from turkey from Edel design i do have a review actually i ordered a couple of designs from her and you can go and check them on my videos and type in review labels Ta-da! see isn't this nice and remove my oh my good you know what if you don't like this what you can do is i just i think i saw the song from the pop pumpkins or you know what you can do this here's another method that you can use baby hats isn't this cute <laughs> Here's another way you can use it. Ta-da! So I hope you like this uh, tutorial. I just had to share it because I found a couple of years ago, actually, I saw this uh, design and I thought, oh, that's unique. See, you can do it in each, whichever you would like. 
and uh yeah you guys take care if you haven't subscribed to my channel please do subscribe share it with your family and friends and don't forget to hit that notification button so every time i post a new video you will be notified indicating there's something new for you to see you turn out the same size actually when you put it this way see I tint a little bit large than this on the bottom oh well you guys take care and I'll see you on my next video. Bye-bye.